Welcome to Learning with Mo. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make our own theme in PowerPoint. Now, if you click on the Design tab, there are already some built-in themes that we can use. So here's Gallery, here's Integral, Ion, Ion Boardroom. If we scroll down, we have a lot of themes here that we can use. But what if these themes are not working for you? Well, what you can do is you can make your own custom theme. If I click on the drop down here, you notice at the very top, we have a section here for custom themes. So here's a custom theme that I actually created. And I can go ahead and just switch to this theme if I want to. As you create custom themes, they will appear here in the custom area. But what exactly is a theme? Well, a theme is a combination of fonts, colors, and effects. So all of these themes, they have their own colors, they have their own fonts, and they also have their own effects as well. Effects are like gloss or shadow. They typi typically apply to charts, tables, and some objects here as well. Well, so how can I create my own theme? I'll go back to, I'll head on over to the Slide Master. So I'll click on the View tab, and I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to the Slide Master. So I'll click on here. I'll make sure to go all the way to the top here and click on that topmost slide that's larger than the others. And so a theme is a combination of colors, fonts, and effects. So we can choose our own color palette here. We can also choose our font for the entire presentation. And we can go ahead and choose our own effects. So in this case, I'll go ahead and click on the drop down here. We can also make our own color palette. I'll scroll down. Here's the basic office. And we have a newer office as well. If I scroll down, several to be able to choose from here as well. I'll go for this blue warm. And I'll change the background style as well. So I have a little bit of variety in here. So I'll click on the background styles and I'll just go with a, a gradient fill. I'll also go ahead and choose my font. So for this one, maybe I'll go for another font here that I like. Let's see. This one looks pretty good. I'll go with Corbel. And I'll go ahead and choose my effects as well. All right. So I'll go with a I'll go with a glossy effect. And that's it. So I've chosen my own colors, I've chosen my own fonts, and I've chosen my own effects. I'll go ahead and close the master view. And I want to go ahead and save the actual theme. So I'll go back to the design tab. I'll click back on the more options here. On the very bottom, I can see I have the option to save the current theme. So I want to go ahead and save this theme so that I can use this over and over and over again each time I open PowerPoint. So I'll go ahead and click on Save Current Theme and let's see what happens. It's saving in the default folder on my computer. So I wanna make sure that I save it in, in that template folder. I do not want to save it to my you know, desktop or downloads. I want to save it right here. I'll just go ahead and give this a name I'll go ahead and press save. Now let's go back. Now I can see here is the theme that I just created, MJ Pro 2. So the next time I, if I, if I were to open a, a new version or a new PowerPoint file, that will be available as well. I'll go ahead and press Control N, open up a new PowerPoint file here. I'll click on the design tab. I'll click on the drop down, and here is that theme. So I can go ahead and apply that theme and I'm good to go. Now I'll go ahead and close this here. Let's go ahead and test out our theme. I'll go back to the title slide here and I can see it already has that font that I selected. Now, if I take a look at the colors, I'll see that the colors have changed based on the color palette that I chose here. So I'll just go for a, I'll stick with the, the theme colors here. 
and down here. I'll get something else in here as well. Then I'll go back to, so it applies for text. It also applies for these different shapes. So if I click on the format tab here for the shape, I want to change the shape fill. I can see I can also apply those theme colors as well. So I'll go ahead and just give these different, different shades here. And there we go. So that is how we make our own theme and that's how we save it as well. If I go on down to slide number three here, well, another thing that we can do is we can actually create our own theme based on a picture. So to do that, we just need to use the eyedropper tool. If I wanted to, if I really like the colors that are on this website, or maybe this is a client website and you're building a slide deck for that particular client, you can use the eyedropper to pull the colors from this particular picture. For example, if I were to click on the shape format tab here, click on shape fill, here is my eyedropper. And now the beauty of the eyedropper, as I hover over these different colors, it tells me the name of the color, and it also shows me the RGB value of that particular color. So here's dark gray, here's rose, that's gold. And let's see, let's grab this one. This one is just blue. Right. So we can actually go in and change the colors. So that's how we can make our own theme by choosing our own fonts, our own colors and effects, saving it as a theme that we can use later on in PowerPoint.